So we all wanna grow our gaming channels, but gaining subscribers is pretty darn tough, especially when you're starting from scratch. In this video, I'm gonna teach you seven of my best actionable tips and strategies that will help you get the ball rolling when you're starting from zero. G'day, my name's Marcus, I'm a video game and YouTube enthusiast, and this channel is dedicated to helping you grow your gaming channel on YouTube. I upload a new video every Saturday, so feel free to subscribe. Now, I've worked with a lot of channels and the most common question I get asked is how do you grow a YouTube channel when you're smaller? Now, you might have seen my video on whether it's too late to, too late, sorry, to start a gaming channel in 2019. If you haven't, I'll link it in the end screens at the end of this video so you can watch it afterwards. Now, if you did watch that video, you're probably thinking, okay, cool, well, I decided to create a gaming channel, but now I'm seeing no growth. I don't even show up in the search when I copy and paste my exact channel name into YouTube. I know this really confused me when I was first starting. So how the hell am I gonna grow if nobody's watching? That's an excellent question. In a minute, I'm gonna give you some of my best stuff on how to grow a channel from scratch, but I wanna quickly share my story because it's really easy to put people up on a pedestal to overlook their failures and I've gained millions of views in my time on YouTube, but when I first started, it took me just over a year to get 50 subscribers. And that wasn't because I wasn't taking action. I posted one to two videos every week. I had thousands of dollars worth of gear, but nothing. Obviously the year dragged by. By the 12th month, I was just feeling like a failure. It felt like I was walking down a dark tunnel. I knew there was a light somewhere at the end, but I'd just been blundering over rocks and falling in holes for what seemed like an eternity. And I wasn't going anywhere. I watched all these videos by so-called gurus, I'd write down their tips and I'd move on to the next video and nothing helped. So without being egotistical, I think this is going to be the best video for gamers who want to grow their channels from scratch because this is the video that I wish I had. Don't be like me. Don't just write down these tips and move on to the next video. Watch this video two, three, four, ten times, however many times you need to come up with concrete strategy because this is really what matters. This is a specific actionable strategy for small gaming channels. In the following footage, I'm going to go over a bunch of tips to how to grow your channel. I'm going to go over the top tips, working our way down to the most important. I'm going to do my best to fully explain them so you can take action. So without further ado, let's get started. First tip, kind of an obvious this one, but optimize your metadata. Metadata is basically titles, tags, descriptions, that kind of data that gives YouTube information on your video. Now, if you're a new channel, YouTube doesn't have much data on you. The YouTube algorithm picks up data and basically its job is to promote videos to people who want to watch them. That's basically its job in a nutshell. Its job is to find a video and connect it with a viewer who's going to enjoy that video. So having good metadata is going to over time give YouTube that data it needs so it can start grouping your videos and promoting them to viewers. Now there is a line, you can't just have massively data heavy uh, titles and descriptions. They need to be clickable as well so people are actually interested in watching them when the algorithm promotes them, but you gotta find that balance. For example, when I was first starting, when I'm working on a really important video that I really wanna get out there that might be a bit different to my normal content, or I'm helping someone else with a special video that will spend one to two hours just working on the metadata alone. It really, really is important. Next up, become a part of the community. So it's going to be very hard for you to grow and gain a community if you're not already part of the community. It's gonna make you feel better because you're having connections with other people. And it's also gonna make them feel better because you're interacting with them. And they're probably in a similar situation to you. Getting to know your community, comment on other videos, following people on your social media who are in your community, joining discords that are related to your niche, an all round good thing to do. Now, not only is it awesome extra exposure, but it also lets you get to know your target audience better. So if you're creating gaming videos, you don't wanna be targeting an audience of 75 year old women. I know when I first started, I was targeting between the 15 to 20 year old mark, and I was actually probably around the 10 to 15, I and I probably should have been targeting the 10 to 15 year old mark. And that's where getting to know your target audience and your community is gonna really help you out. It'll also help you monitor the trends. Monitoring trends is really important. I've talked about this in other videos because YouTube, the algorithm will grab onto that. It'll relate your video to the trends and you'll start taking off. Now that's not saying clickbait people into and trick people into clicking on your video just because you've got certain trends in the title, but monitoring trends will allow you to actually make videos that are kind of related to the trends before other people do and those trends die. Next tip, promote the video. A lot of people when they're starting off, they make a video, they post it out there and they just hope it's going somewhere. Or worse, they copy and paste spammy promotion messages to 50,000 people and expect to get some love. 
Now this tip relies heavily on the previous one. You need to become a part of the community before you can start promoting your stuff. Becoming a part of the community is in a way promoting your stuff anyway, because most of the time people are gonna check you out. If you see someone who's frequently commenting on your video and generally a part of the community, you might be curious to go check them out and that's natural form of promotion. But once you've become a part of the community and you've gained people's trust, there's nothing wrong with saying, hey, I just posted this video. It's related to this topic we're talking about. Check it out, it might interest you. If you want more tips on promoting your videos, I'm posting or I might have already posted a video on the free ways to promote your channel. So if it's already out, I'll try and link it at the end of this video. If not, just subscribe. It'll be out in a few weeks. Also, if you've enjoyed this video so far, please drop a like below because it really helps get this information out there. My goal is to help as many gaming creators as possible with these videos and I'd really appreciate your support. Next tip. Thumbnails. Thumbnails are extremely important. In fact, having a good thumbnail is one of the most important things, I think, for a video. People look at the thumbnails first before they look at anything else. Whether your video is going out to people through the YouTube algorithm, through the search, through you generally promoting them, or just people clicking on your channel to have a look, they need people to actually click on them. Now, obviously having good titles and descriptions is gonna help with that, but people look at the thumbnails first. Now, tips to make good thumbnails. You want them to be relevant. No one wants to see a new Funny Moments video with a meme on the thumbnail that's like six years old, unless that's part of the joke. <laughs> you want your thumbnails to be bright because that way they're gonna stand out a little bit more. Now, I'll give you a little tidbit. Yellow is the first color registered by the human eye, which is one of the reasons a lot of YouTubers will use that orangey yellow text for their clickbaity thumbnails. <laughs> Now, one of the ways I like to check to make sure my thumbnails are easily viewable is what I call the magnifying test or the upside down magnifying test. On Photoshop or whatever program I'm using to create my thumbnail, I zoom all the way out until the thumbnail is on the screen at about the size it would be if it's showing up as a recommended video. The things I wanna stand out really pop at that distance, then I know it's a good thumbnail. Tell a story, basically ethical clickbait. You want to entice people by kind of showing them something they might not have seen before or that they might be interested in watching. Most of the time, people make decisions based on emotions. You're gonna have a very hard time selling a video that has a thumbnail with two words on it, funny moments and then a black screen because it doesn't really have any emotion. It doesn't tell a story. Now, telling a story is one of the reasons why clickbait has gone so viral. And that's why I say ethical clickbait. Don't tell a story that's not actually in your video because then you're gonna lose trust. You don't wanna have hundreds of people clicking on your video only to have them click off in the first 20 seconds. That actually brings your video down in YouTube's opinion. Next tip. Niche research. Now I talked all about markets, submarkets, and niches in my previous video. I really recommend you check that out. I'll link it at the end. So I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about niches in this video, but I will give you some more information on top of the information we already gave in the previous video. Picking the right niche for me personally was the one big thing that actually got me out of my YouTube rut. I wanna give you some specific examples of bad niches. Obviously everyone knows about Fortnite by now. It is super, super saturated. Unless there's something really, really special about you, there's a 99% chance you're gonna fail because that niche is full up to the brim with content creators already. Something I try to tell all the people I work with is if you can't own your niche, either up your game or find another one. What I mean by that is if you can't be like top three creators of your niche, if you can't see yourself being the top three creators of your niche, find another one. If you're already in a certain niche and there are more than three creators who are better than you at that niche, I'm not saying more subscribers, I'm talking better quality content, then you need to up your game. All right, we're down to the second last tip and that is create searchable content. Now, a lot of videos in the gaming industry are entertainment based, but it's very difficult for those videos to come up in search because when people search for them, all the top creators pop up and there's no way you're going to outrank them. So how do we get our videos seen in front of some other YouTubers videos who has way more subscribers than us and the YouTube algorithm has way more data on their channel? Great way to do that is to create searchable content that is super, super specific and then kind of promote your videos during that video. For example, when I first started, my very first video ever got almost 2000 views. And that wasn't because it was a good video, it was terrible. So why did that video do so well? well that video was titled, How to Stop Your Animals Despawning in Minecraft. Now that's a really, at the time, was a really, really specific search term that not many people were searching for. In fact, I think I was the very first video to be made on that topic. So when people searched it up, YouTube had no choice but to give them my video. I also had a very good thumbnail, a very clear thumbnail, and that's why that video did so well. Now the problem was I didn't promote any of my content in that video. What I should have done is said something like, hey, I post new content such as this and that, and if you're interested in that, go check it out. If not, I hope you enjoyed the video, blah, 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 blah. So what you need to do is you need to find little tutorial-like videos almost that you can, the people will be searching for that you might get one or 2,000 people searching. Then promote your other content in those videos, and if the people like you, they like your style, they'll be more than happy to check out your other videos. Finally, last tip, you're gonna be really disappointed, but it's create good content. In the end, 
YouTube comes down to creating good quality content. YouTube's algorithm, its job in a nutshell is to connect the viewer with the video that they want to watch. That makes everybody happy, it makes everybody money. It's a win-win. Without good quality content, you can have the best SEO video in the world and nothing's gonna happen. You wanna create that video that someone really wants to share because you don't have a lot of traffic coming in at the moment, so you need to be shared by word of mouth. That's how these videos with really crappy thumbnails and titles go viral because people share them, get a lot of people watching all the way to the end, and then the video just starts snowballing. So I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. This is the formula I used to grow my channel when I was first starting. So make sure to share this video with your YouTuber friends because they might find it helpful too. I'm sure they'd appreciate you thinking of them. Also the videos I mentioned, especially the one about promoting your content and whether you should start a YouTube channel in 2019 are up on screen right now. So I highly recommend you check them out because I share a ton of great information. Please make sure you work through this list. Make sure you've mastered all the points because I guarantee you if you can master these points, you will see success. My name is Marcus. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in next week's video.